Adam Tutton, Chief Executive Officer at Bristol Rovers Community Trust. Adam, what is today all about? Today is about supporting the BBC Super Movers campaign, which is um, a project aimed at getting school children moving while they're learning. As you're well aware, Jeff, you know, Bristol Rovers is a community club and this is at the heart of what we do, is working with the young people, school children, all across the city of Bristol. Um, we've been invited along to Emerson's Green Primary School today to um, lead on today's Super Mover lessons um, and we're delighted to have three of the first team with us. Yeah, we're here at Emerson's Green Primary, um, these tables waiting for youngsters to come in. What age groups, how many, what are we talking about? Um, we've got year six today, so 10 and 11 year olds today for today's lesson. Um, we've got 60 of them today, so it could be quite rowdy this afternoon, I'd imagine. Um, and it, as I said, it, it's maths and it's movement, so it should be good fun. OK, and there's this link with the Etihad. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, the lesson's actually being delivered live from the Etihad. So BBC have some of their children's BBC presenters there, um, and they'll be presenting across the country today. So we'll be one of probably a couple of hundred schools taking part in the event. Uh, and hopefully, you know, there'll be 500, 600 children being really active this afternoon. Yeah. So what's the real message this is going to deliver then? Um, I think the message is that, that anything, maths, literacy, it doesn't have to be boring. You know, we find that children learn a lot better if they're active. Um, we, we've seen that from studies that have been done. So today is combining the two things, physical activity while learning. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. I'm sat with Tom Broadbent. Tom, I mean... There's a real buzz, there's a real anticipation in the room here, isn't there? Yeah, everyone looks really excited. I think, they, I think they're most enjoying Captain Gas, to be honest. Yeah, he's popular, isn't he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Activity one, area and perimeter. Fill in the length and width of the football pitch based on the findings of Braden and the Man City players. Help? Of Braden and the Man City players? I would say... What, what, would, what would I say it is yeah. length and width? About, well, between like 100 and 120 metres length. That's about right. And I'd say width, probably about, between about 60 and go for 60. 90. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've got a minute to go. Yeah. Good job we're going to start this. These kids are going to explode, aren't they? Oh, no. <laughs> Some excited kids in here, aren't there? Well, you're the go-to man here, so good luck helping the kids. Thank you. I'll need it. Here we go. Let's do a tag pack. I'm Lola Harding, and I'm 10 years old. Lola, this is brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> yes, this is absolutely amazing. I'm pumped. This is amazing. <laughs> Very different to just doing maths in the classroom, isn't it? Yes. Maths in the classroom is boring. This, however, is not. But I can't wait, because this is just going to be amazing. So it seems it's maths, but also exercise and movement. It's, it's a nice mix together, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good, because I am I usually just do dance, but this is really good, because it's a mix of football and just everything. And it's just amazing and really good, and I'm just really happy about it. And having three footballers from Bristol Rovers here and Captain Gas, what's that all about? Um, I have no words. It's just amazing. Like, it's brilliant. It's super. It's just really, really good. I really, I'm just really, it's, re it's really good. Enjoy the lesson. Nice Thank to chat you. with you. You too. With Michael Kelly, Rover's defender, who sat with his um, table of six youngsters. Great yeah, session, isn't it? So. Yeah, definitely. It's good to get involved with the, with the, young, with the young lads. Um, and it's good for them to kind of meet the likes of especially Sirks anyway, he's played so many games and scored so many goals. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. It's a different way of learning, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good, to, good for us to kind of come back and see what we did when we were younger. And I don't remember kind of getting that chance to meet um, like local footballers um, when I was that age. So yeah, it's good for the kids as well. And it's also interesting, we're all very aware of well-being and even footballers now, the diet's changed so much that you guys are in super, super condition. But it's important these kids also, despite being young, have their exercise. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the, because how much the game's changed um, and it's just going to keep on changing. So the importance of diet and exercise is yeah, it's massive in, um, in the game nowadays. So yeah, it's probably something you're going to have to learn from a young age. How's your maths? Have they helped, asked you for any help yet? Uh, I think they're probably better than me. They're more than capable than me. So yeah, I'll, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Michael. Cheers. You didn't get it. You've got to do the trophy one, haven't you?
Just straight down the middle. So, Tom, yeah. it's impressive this link up around the country, isn't it? Yeah, I know it is. I didn't expect there was, I didn't know there was like that many schools involved. Um, well, I didn't really know much about it no, before no. I come here anyway. But, I think um, it's fair no, to say these youngsters are really buying into it, giving it their best, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about Sirks over there, though. No. Well, he's, he'll, play, he'll pull the injury card in, won't he? Yeah, he I think he will and all. <laughs> Mikey's not injured, though. I can no, see Mikey's Mikey. Not even flinching, come on, Mike. Michael's doing a statue impression. <laughs> and you're getting away with it because you're chatting with me. I know, that's, keep, keep talking, <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> Jack Child, I'm 10 years old and I live in Emerson's Green, Bristol. What a great day for you today. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I love Bristol Rovers and yeah, this is awesome. So three Bristol Rovers players with you, that's that's brilliant for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. I see some of their games and I don't really get to meet them like this, but yeah, this is awesome. Do you like maths? Yeah, I do. I quite enjoy it. This is a different way of learning though, isn't it? Completely different. Yeah, we're usually sat in a classroom in silence, but... Now we're all together with the Rovers place, it's great. And this link up with Manchester via the big screen there and the school children right across the country doing what you're doing today, that must be pretty special. Yeah, it is. You don't usually get to come in the hall and do fun mass with Bristol Rovers. It's, yeah, it's a lot different, but it's really fun and good. So what's your favourite subject in school? Uh, I like PE, my favourite, yeah. And maths? Yeah, maths is really great as well. Yeah, that would be my second favourite subject. Brilliant. Great to chat with you. Enjoy the lesson. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Quick word with Adam Sutton who's hosting this. This is going rather well, isn't it? It is probably the most energetic math lesson I've ever taken part in. I'm exhausted. Different way of teaching, isn't it? Yeah, it really gets them engaged, as you can see, Jeff. They're smiling, they're having fun and actually learning at the same time. And from a close perspective, it's win-win, isn't it? Of course it is. You know, fans of the future. Um, it's about us giving back to the community. Liam Serkham's helping these youngsters with their maths. Oh, I, think he, I think this goes better than me. He's helping me. Oh, he's got all the all the workings there, hasn't he? Yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. So yeah, he's, he's doing pretty well. It's an interesting way of teaching, an interesting way of learning, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I, to be fair, I, I never did anything like this at, at school when I was when I was younger. So yeah, it must be must be much better way of doing it. So yeah, yeah it's good. And within the clever way of learning, there's also every now and again the exercise sessions. It's important these youngsters know about health and fitness, isn't it, at a young age? Yeah, that's it. They you know they're trying to get into um, schools now to do a little bit more. Uh, exercise as well so you know they're just um, putting that together with with the math so yeah it's a good way of doing it what were you like at school I wasn't great no <laughs> but I won't tell these <laughs> PE your favorite subject <laughs> yeah that, that was the only that was the only um, grade I got actually in the others I'm graded not all of them yeah. top man that's right I'm with head teacher Carl Hemmings. Carl, this is this is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, really, really exciting opportunity for our children. We're really thrilled we're able to have this opportunity for them. It's, I think it's really important for a couple of reasons. One, it's about making children aware they're part of this wider community, Bristol Sports, Bristol Rovers coming in, uh, which I know a lot of our children value. It's the fact that it's also inspiring them in terms of their learning, the maths aspect of it, but also creating those links between maths, sport and all those kinds of things. Um, and I'm really pleased to have Bristol Rovers working here with us today. Yeah, and the awareness of well-being, health, fitness, movement, that's really important at a young age. Yes. Uh, our school theme this year is Healthy Happy Me. So this fits right in with what we're working on across the whole school. It's the theme of all our assemblies. It's one of our school development priorities for us. So it's all about teaching children to be aware of their bodies and their minds, being as healthy as possible. And it's events like this will help raise that awareness and just encourage and children to talk about it and to improve themselves, I guess. They're having so much fun. I mean, I thought they were going to burst with excitement before two o'clock, and now that it's underway, you can you can just feel the the excitement in the room. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The children have been really excited about this happening. Um, uh, we feel really lucky that we're able to have also some of the first team players in yeah. with us today as well. Really nice to have those guys in working with us. You know, something that these children will remember all their lives, which is brilliant. And me too, because I'm also a gas head, so I'm excited about it too. Brilliant. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Really nice to meet you. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you.